very much, man. Now, let's return to the Kenyan elections now. And in the country, South Coast region, a community voted for the first time ever today. The Makonde people migrated to Kenya more than 70 years ago, but were only granted Kenyan citizenship early this year. The BBC's Ferdinand Omondi reports from Kwale. As Kenyans lined up to vote at this polling station, few of them would have been as anxious as Thomas. At the age of 60, Thomas is going to vote for the first time. Not only Thomas, but his family and the entire Makonde community. I feel free now because what I've always wanted, I've achieved. Because previously, we never used to vote. And now I feel free because I'm a Kenyan like any other. The Makonde people migrated to Kenya from Mozambique and Tanzania over 70 years ago, but were recognized as Kenya's 43rd tribe only this year. This is what has eluded the Makonde for many years. It is an identity card. It is what proves you are a Kenyan citizen, and it is the gateway to many rights and privileges, like the right to vote. But earning that right for the Makonde wasn't easy. Many petitions to the government went unheeded for years. So last year, they marched for four days from Mombasa to State House in Nairobi. President Uhuru Kenyatta finally ordered their recognition as Kenyan citizens. Today, they vote. Tomorrow, the Makonde and other Kenyans will be hoping they chose leaders who will support them in their time of need. Fadina Mundi, BBC, South Coast, Kenya.